Hello, once again, we're back. We're actually like gonna try and stay consistent. I did I did the thing again. Chapter four, battle in the lair. The lair I don't know how you pronounce that word, I'm gonna say Lee. That's the name of my boss at work. After a hard battle, Marv's Altaian army, for it had grown to be called such, was set foot at last in the kingdom of Aurelis. However, joining his might to that of the Aurelians would have to wait, as Marv descended into the vast green lead separating his troops from theirs. He heard a terrible sound, the galloping of enemy. Dis- di Okay, look, fucking intelligent systems. Stop using a fucking thesaurus for everything. Just say cavaliers or battalions or something like that. Because who the fuck in, in all of human history has ever said that word genuinely? This triers. Far away at first, then closer, then far too close. Oh. Aurelis, at last. The enemy will have sent their forces to meet us. Crust, Dollar, Gar, we're up against their standing armies, and we must brace ourselves for it. Sire, I believe it prudent that we start taking time to prepare our troops before each battle. We should select the warriors best suited for the situation and outfit them with right weapons and items according accordingly. Right, that's sound advice. I will believe I'll take it. I've been doing a lot of generic runs, but I was totally suspecting him to say, Oh yeah, by the way, Marv, we've got some dipshits ready to help us. So yeah, now we can finally choose who we want, so um... Let's not even miss twice time getting him off the fucking team. Fuck you, dude. So let's see, anything we want to do? Okay. You wonder how you break Shadow Dragon? We have now broken Shadow Dragon. Uh, yeah, um, Draco Knight Jagan is fucking busted and I kind of love it. Let's see, um, yeah, Drog. Hmm, okay. So Abel and Kane, we're gonna keep him as calves. Calves are good. Gordon? There's not really anything good of a Gordon to be, um... Hmm. Like, like, outside of Cavalier, like, nothing really fixes his core problems. That's one of the main things. Um, Cord, fuck you, not being an Axe user no more. You... ...will be... I actually want to go Mercenary Cord. I think that could be quite fun. I know, we're gonna go, we're gonna go Dark Mage, because it's genuinely an actually good choice. So Navarre, we're gonna keep Navarre from Myrmidon, but I do know Cavalier Myrmidon. Cavalier Navarre is quite good. I just I, I like Myrmidons. I think they're cool. Um, so the game's opened up at last. Um, so we'll make Drog then. We'll make him. We'll fight for a pirate. I think we'll make him a fighter because I think that leans slightly better into his natural growth. So then yeah, we can just swap what Cord has to. Draw now. So just, yeah, just, yeah, just pause at all this because. Oh, so by the way, you can just unload. That's one of my favorite little things in this game. I don't think anything outside of DSP has that. It's so small, but I love it. It's so useful. Yeah, Daryl's can finally get himself a hand deck, which is lovely. Yeah, Jagan, you can just like put your little sword back in there, and then you can finally get yourself an Iron Lance, which is fucking sweet. So yeah, pick units. Um, first of all, Gordon, you're you're fucked. I'm not using you. Um, yeah, that pretty much seems right. Um, no, hang on, go get go get cords and actual weapons. Oh, we can forge now. Oh, we can forge. Yeah, just get a basic level fire turn cord, and then we can we can forge finally. So we do want to forge something for. Have another day. No, hang on. Forge. Good. Convoy. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have a spare. Do I, do I want to use... Hmm. So it's got, like, pretty much four uses. Okay. Iron Axe. Hmm. <laughs> Might 15. Crit 5. Uh, weight of 5. Put it down a little bit. 85. 663 gold. This, my friend, is the <laughs> the Daros Blast. Okay, it's just the Daros. Do you want to like the Daros? I like the I really like the Daros. 
Uh, okay, yeah, I think that's um, everything pretty much for this chapter. Um, it's nice there's something I'm forgetting about, but well, hang on, I think that might be a steel sword. Yeah, inventory. I think this is steel sword. There is not. Okay, that goes down. Yeah, we seem to be right. Review maps or anything we could really do here. No, that never comes to mind really, so yeah. Wait, hang on, no, there is something that comes to mind. We are just gonna throw Sheeta over there so she can just one round the fucking be fair. Okay, now, we begin! Unknown army to the south. That must be the Altaian Princelingham's band of Lickspittles. If they think we'll sit by and let them join forces with the Aurelians, then they have another thing coming. Wherever this ride has been, I'll litter the Lee with their cavalry. Yeah, all, all, all two of them. Great job. So yeah, let's see how it's called. Do not pray. How did the Darrows do? There's one hit! There's one hit, I'll tell you what, we'll just use the index. Go on. Go on, Daros. Ooh! Go, Daros! Go, Daros! Strength and luck. And then, yeah, Cord, you can just hit him with this. Cord's actually a decent choice because uh, Cord is like a 10 cent magic growth for some fucking reason. Speed, speed six. Okay, don't. I was just. I'm trying to gas you. I'm trying to gas you up, fucking Cord. Don't, don't do me like this. Over here, they've got a good few little guys over here, so. Start out with. Hang on, where's. Oh no, Navarre's not really in range now. Next, yeah, put Augment there because. Still, still sword, and then. Fast! Draw the guard. Board. Castor, you can go over there and you can have to deal with those guys. Lena needs to go over here for a guy up here. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. There's Mathis. There's Mathis. Literally the same stats, the fucking generic. Jing can go over there. No, oh, there's a thief up here or something. Right? Yeah, okay, and that gives them gonna get Jaden up here. And then, yeah, I think these guys can probably just go forward up there. Yeah, you can just put the stubborn steel axe in the um, You can put the steel axe in the convoy, I'm gonna be real, I don't really feel safe using that one. Ooh, lovely little dodge there. And he won rounds. Oh god, don't don't make don't make him suffer from success, please. At the very least he does have actual bulk, so we're not too likely to start suffering from success, as it's called, but that's yeah, still somewhat likely, which does scare me. I, l I love the noises of the these games' cabs. I don't know why, but it's like such a specific thing that sticks out to me, but it just sounds really nice. That's pretty good with the wing spear, but... Um, yeah, take that one out with the wing spear. Well, hey. Then, how do you do? Yeah, you, should, you can just one tap it so glass. Yeah, then Castle will do what he always does. Not really much of anything. I'm gonna be eating my words from Castle like one of the few survivors of this run so at the end, aren't I? Single point of HP, we love it, we love him, we love him, he's so good! Hang on, okay. Tree fed draw can take on that one guy. Sorry, we didn't do that. People have shown this game's graphics, I like it a lot. I think I was playing into it at the beginning, I, I don't remember, it's been like a month or something stupid like that. My, my upload schedule is not very good. How does board do? Board one shots, we love that. Oh, we love to see it. We love to see that. Bit of board action. You guys better not be bored or still watching board, eh? Yeah, I get it, get it, because he's bored, get his name board, type of thing, his name is board. Let's 
and you may walk there. Right, now this part you got to be fucking wary of, because you've got Lena. And um, Lena needs to talk to Mathis, but you know, obviously she's a healer, she's not exactly going to be on the front line, so you kind of have to play around that. So these are one of my favourite little challenges of the early game, is trying to recruit Mathis. Even if being realistic is never really all that worth it, you're, you're recruiting fucking Mathis. I want to go with Nine Lance, can hit you. Okay, Navarm could be in bad straits. But, hmm. You know what, we're gonna stick with Navar. I got, I got faith in him, I got faith in our little Navar guy. Yeah, Kane can just take this guy out, no real problem. And he got speed, not 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 bad. Maybe I get some pain down here, and maybe pain can take an enemy for us, which would be really fucking sweet. Yeah, okay, send the rest of these guys back over. Especially board, we gotta train the guard. We gotta train the guard. Board is boards the guard. And then yeah, give him Daros. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's not like a misspelling. It is called canonically the Daros. <laughs> Hey, he doesn't double, which sounds like a joke. That's actually good, because he could very easily get overwhelmed if he did. Man, I believe yeah, one of these guys is Mathis. I just can't remember which one. I should mark it. It's that one, okay, that's good. So that's the most easily accessible one. Fast, let me fast one stroke, because you're like the one guy with a sword there. You have an armor slayer, we don't even have a knight. Fuck you. Hang on. You're gonna do seven damage if you can't actually one shot, that's a bit funny. Take out the armor slayer guy with the rapier, because fuck it, style points. Nice. You know what, we like those odds. We like we don't, we don't want to use up the Daros too much. Right, use a little fire phone. Okay, now we have one of the most precarious parts of the whole run coming up, and that's, funnily enough, these two. Uh, speed of 10 and like attack 11, they double pretty much all your units at this point. They can be surprisingly difficult to deal with. How does Boss do? Oh yeah, I already tricked Boss. Okay. Draw a hand axe, it should do something. Seven damage, lovely. Maybe, maybe, maybe Mathis. Maybe we should set up a Mathis game. Oh yeah, Navar, you should just be able to. Yeah, 100% chance to hit. I don't know why Myrmidons look like that in this game, by the way. It's definitely one of the more different appearances for Myrmidons. Mathis, is that you, brother? It's me, Lena. Lena? What are you doing on a battlefield? I was attacked by bandits and teeth while tending to the sick there, and these people saved me. The real question is, what are you doing on a battlefield? At least of all this one. I'm not here by choice, sister of mine. Since you left, Mastodon has only gotten worse and worse. They forced me to enlist. I know I hate warfare, but it was in, into the army or into the chopping block. Shame on you, Mathis. If you're going to fight, then at least fight for something you believe in. Mastodon has done terrible things, marrying their might to dull her, helping them torment people. Brother, it's not too late. You could join Altea's forces. They're good people, you know. Prince and Mark would welcome you. They will all hurt. Alright then. If I'm going to die, I'd rather die as one of the dashing and one of the dastardly. You know, Lena, you always were the reliable one. You truly are a reliable guy. But now you're all grown up. But for sure you'd have already settled down your one true love. True love? I've I've met no such man, Mathis. I'm making Mathis have the voice of Otacon. <laughs> hmm, is that so? I wonder. Well, you just be careful. There are plenty of thieves out there who would steal a girl's heart. 
what maps into the box? <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm not that kind of stupid. Fucking four damage. She, you know what, Mathis? Oh, fuck you, we're sacking. Nah, I'm not gonna sack you. I don't, I don't sack anyone in this game. In this game. Oh, shit. I don't know if that able to that much strength on him. God damn. Yeah, so let's start sending the rest of these guys. Boy, we're gonna need a lot of fucking manpower. Yo, yeah, Mathis, do, do, do your best. Show us how, how amazing you are. God, he's so shit. He's so fucking bad, Ogba. Ogba, show sure what a good unit looks like again. Bang, can you? Nice send Able forward. Jagan and Kushida, and we can move forward too. And that's the end of that turn. Okay, and again, like this part, you gotta be fucking wary of. You would be surprised. <laughs> For example, <laughs> to show you the fucking bite of those guys. <laughs> Look, I wasn't planning on it, but I saw how shit he was. I'm, I'm not using him no matter what happens. Look at him. Get heal up the wall. I should have I don't think we got the armor slayer off that guy. I swear he drops it. Yeah, that's safe. You want to see how, how dangerous them horsemen guys can be. Mathis will gladly make a demonstration. Just, uh... Oh yeah, of course, those guys have steals too, by the way. Those add up fast. Come on, oh, I was really hoping to get a 1% crit just because that would be really, really funny. Okay, so... Ooh, oh, oh, doubles! Yeah, but so specifically mark the, the horsemen, because again, those guys can pack a fucking punch. How's, how's Daros? Daros does good. You know, fuck it, Mathis is already gonna die, that's just... Use him as just proverbial bait, uh, heal him with... Heal him with Lena, so he might not die, but yeah, I really don't give a shit about keeping him alive. I want that to be stakes, damn it. Uh, he can, he can be the, he can be the, the rut shirt. 72 damage, that's nice. I must say, he's our proverbial red shirt, this. He's, he's the red hair. those guys. I really don't like how big their movement range is. I really don't like that at all. I see these guys are just like, fucking terrifying. <laughs> yeah, basically just egg everyone as close forward as we maybe can and might be able to take out a couple of them. Oh shit. Okay, cord. Cord. Hey, cord. I just bought a little fire time for you, Cord. 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 Oh, fuck. Okay, we added him. We, that's our first death so far, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good old co uh, Cord. That's great. Oh, and he's still gonna, he's still gonna get the fucking steel bug, god damn it. I literally set up maps to die, but I just... Oh, fucking hell. And at the very least, that means that Sheeta has a much easier job. Wing Spear, Lamau. And a pretty good amount of XP for Cadet Mode. Uh, HP, speed, and... Defense? Okay, defense on Sheeta is not bad. She's very frail, so getting... Any defense is pretty nice to have. Wonderbar. I swear we don't rely on crits, ladies and gentlemen, because crits are unreliable shit. Uh, let's see, the Darasba, the Darasba. 
Daryl's b the Daryl's b I was sleeping on Daryl's b Daryl's b is <laughs> he's gonna bring us home, baby. Oh, this what, what board? Oh, my board is in range. No, what, board actually would have been good there, Bennett. Okay, uh, draw contact them so I can't train draw on that guy. That would just be terrible, I'm not even going to attempt that. And then yeah, bask him just pretty safely. There we go. Ooh, strength level, love to see that. Then yeah, if we stop here, we'll then meet Merrick! Oh yeah, that's right, this map isn't in FP3. Um, this is new to you guys. Um, yeah, um, FP3 didn't have every map from FP1, but they just kind of merged this one with the next map, because that's when we get all the Wolfman. Aha! Prince Marf! We meet again! Huh? Merrick? Merrick, is that you? Well, yes, sire, last I looked. While studying magic in today, I caught a wind of a war brewing and decided to seek you out. I see. Thank you, then. I need friends like you on the battlefield. You will fight with us, of course. Of course! It would be a passing shame if you didn't get to see me flex a little magical muscle. Wait till I show you my latest Excalibur! I'm pretty sure I'll be looking for him. Oh, no, okay, I'm pretty sure it's after the chapter then the convoy stuff gets added. Because, yeah, this, this game has a really cool feature where a unit's inventory, when they die, is brought to the convoy automatically. It's really cool, actually, like a lot. Encounters. Okay, it's not a one tab, and considering he's a mage, I really don't want him getting more hurt than he has to be. Oh, shit, sorry, I forgot this is the first arena in the game. Don't, don't do DSV arenas, they're, they're really, really bad. DSV arenas are just, like, you die. Lol. Yeah, I actually can't believe that we, we actually lost some. I wasn't expecting to like lose Quad. This has been pretty much every time I've tried using him, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I want to try and get a kill for board. I want to show you guys the power of the board. Just uh Well hey. What the fuck? Hey, that's probably picked up a mic, that's Fucking dogs for some reason. Fucking. They, they start doing it a lot lately. It's really annoying. And we're back. Sorry about that. Um, basically, a bunch of our neighbors got dogs, so they bark, and then when they bark, the other dogs bark, and it kind of creates this whole cycle, which is just terrible and really annoying. And ugh. You know, so I'm pretty sure those are the last two enemies. So, uh, play. In that case, then just keep you there. We can train you. We can um, do something that I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do according to most countries, but hey, this is war. The victors write history. No, no one cares about what happens to Marcus. Yesterday I was saying that Lena actually had levels and just had to do that to me. Okay, I see, I see how this is. I see how we're doing. I see what the game is. I am not apologizing. I am, I am, I'm, I'm not apologizing. I thought it was familiar with your game and I'm not. Turns out your game sucks. So we're not attacking you because you can just be in the bar border. Oh yeah, by the way, um, yeah, unit review, um, Mathis fucking sucks, as I said earlier, he's basically, for all intents and purposes, a generic. He's just not worth the time, um, from my understanding, his, his growth's are, like, slightly defensive leaning, but, like, he's just never really worth the time. Especially when you're considering that King and Abel are right there with really damn good. Um, Merrick's probably the bo best boss killer in this game. Most bosses in this game are like Armonites or Cavaliers, and like they basically. They, Armonites just get fucking demolished by mages anyway, so especially when you look at Excalibur and, you know, 13 magic, crit 20. Yeah, um, he just. he just melts anything he comes into contact with. 
Um, thanks to the Wing Spear, he is slightly worse than he was in FP3 because like the Wing Spear just does what he does but can fly. But like he's still really, really damn good. Let's see how the Daros will do against you. Not as good as I hoped. And you know what? That's fine. We live with those. We take we we, we take what we're given and we live with it. You know what you do, really. You know what, we're still gonna leave you there with the killing edge, because fuck it, why not? I hope it doesn't backfire. You can defy us, yes, but you will never defeat us. Okay, Navar, Navar, we gotta have a talk, okay? We, we gotta have a talk. You remember them. You meant to crit. For the fuck of the crits! Castor, do that whopping one damage. <laughs> that, that was that was just a flex. That wasn't even like to like sh like actually avoid damage. That was just a show off. Okay, you're gonna do ten damage. You can't crit, so this literally cannot like backfire. And hey, you know what? He dodged. He did dodge. And all of Navar's work is gone. Nice one, Daros. I must say, I forgot about this village. We're gonna bring Mark over here. Oh, we, we love the Daros. Kind of pain. This kingdom is in dire need of a savior. We've saved up 5,000 gold and poured our prayers into every coin. Please use this money to answer them. Why is everyone in this game so poetic? It's really weird. I was about to say, this should kill, I believe, if it hits. I'll be really sad if it doesn't. Ooh! What? Nah. And let's see, Daros! HP and strength. Pretty much all that matters for a fighter, so I can't really be upset. I was thinking, I'm considering sending someone to the arena, but I'm not going to. The arena does just murder you in this game. Rinse Marth, you'll have our thanks for liberating the South Castle. You will find Captain Harden on a fortress in Northern Arellis, protecting the King and the Lady Nina. When you find him, please be sure to give him this silver sword. He can't wield it. He can't wield the silver sword anymore because they changed how weapon breaks work. <laughs> um, anyhow, yeah, that's it for today. Um, rest in peace, Cord. You, um, you didn't really do much of anything, but, like, you were there, I guess. Uh, rest in peace, little Mao. Uh, anyhow, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.